or the people that they're talking to doesn't know or is not going to remember. Um, so one thing I want you guys to remember is what we talked about last class, is we brought up the case. The first thing we talked about was a central angle. Remember, an angle that has the vertex at the center, right? And if we had these two points, A to B, and we call this measure of angle 1, we said the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of your art, AB. They're equal in measurements. So therefore, if I say that's 62 degrees, the arc measurement is also 62 degrees, right? That's what we talk about our central angles and the arc measure. They have the same measurements. Then, last class period, for your notes for this homework, we talked about inscribed angles. And if we did the exact same points and angle with an inscribed angle, what was different, though, now is the measure of angle 1 was equal to 1 half the measure of my arc AB. So when you have an angle that is not at the vertex, or I'm sorry, is not at the center, but it's on the circle, then this angle's measurement is 1 half of your angle's arc. So if I said this was equal to 30 degrees, then my arc measurement would be 60 degrees. Does that make sense? That's what we learned last class period. So if I'm looking at this and I say 182 and I want to figure out what E is, then yeah. 162 divided by 2. E equals 1 half the measurement of my arc um, DF. So I look at what is the measurement of my arc. It's 162 degrees. So it's 1 half times 162 which equals 81. Okay. Remember the arc. When you have an inscribed angle, it's half of what it is. When it's a central angle, it's exactly the same. <laughs> huh? It's an inscribed angle when it's on the circle. No, you said inscribed angle is half. Half the arc measurement. Central angle, which is exactly the same. So is this more 